I'm super excited about today's video. I decided to do something a little bit different. Today, we're gonna be breaking down Jason Tatum's game using footage that I shot myself last season. Let's get right into it. First, let's just talk about his signature size up. He has this move down pack. I was shooting him and I was watching him play. It was just crazy seeing him use this move so effectively and all the different things he could do out of this one signature size up was crazy. So let's break it down. So notice in this clip, Tatum is not only looking at his man, but he's also looking at help side. As a hooper, you always want to have your head up at all times, no matter what, because you want to be able to read and react to the defense. One thing I like about Tatum is that he surveys the court. He surveys help side, he surveys his man. What is his man doing? What is help side doing? So in this clip, you see Tatum read that KCP help side. He's reading that, he sees that. Now he's watching his man. Troy Daniels takes that small step back. That gives him enough space to get a shot off and it's cash from there. Let's check out the next clip. One thing I'm noticing about these clips that I took is Tatum is really just trying to catch a rhythm, that's it. Right, when he's doing the signature move, like he's just trying to catch a rhythm. So he'll call for an ISO, he'll take your hit man one on one. All he's doing is reading his defender's body, he's reading his feet, reading his hips, that's it. Just to get a shot off. So notice the last one, he pulled back for a three point shot. In this one, he goes in for a two dribble pull up. So that's what I mean by there's so much he could do out of this one signature size up move that he has which is so amazing to me this next clip is the end of the shot clock situation most defenders know that tatum's go-to move at the end of a shot clock is the size up in this clip kuzma is gearing up for a size up dribble kuzma relaxes and opens up his hips for a quick second and tatum uses the opportunity to drive right past him for a floater over the white Notice Tatum's change of pace and speed. Also notice how Tatum is really good at reading the defense. He faked his size up dribble, but attacked right away once he saw Kuzma open up his hips. If you know how to change your pace and speed as an offensive player, you will definitely have a lot more opportunities presented to you throughout the course of games. And getting your defender to relax when you relax can really open up a lot for you and make you very hard to guard. Another thing that makes Tatum so hard to guard is his ability to shoot the three ball right out of screen. It doesn't matter if the defender goes under or over the screen, he has the ability to shoot that shot, which makes him extremely hard cover. Because if the defender presses up too much, he just gotta drive right to the basket. In the first clip, Tatum shoots right away and notice how his man went over the screen. In this next clip, he sets his man up by faking like he's driving to his right, brings the ball back between his legs towards the screen, going to his left. The defender goes under the screen, which gives him an open look from three and he really shoots the shot with a lot of confidence. One thing that I've really been noticing about Tatum's game after watching these clips is that he's very good at maneuvering around defenders to get to the basket. He is definitely crafty for his size, which makes him an extremely tough cover in this regard. In these next few clips, you'll really see how good he is when it comes to cutting off and shielding off defenders to get to the basket. Notice how once he cuts off his defenders, he does a great job at maneuvering his way to the basket. That just shows you how controlled he is and how good his footwork is, especially because sometimes he moves laterally to get to his spots. Yeah. A lot of guys move in a straight line and make y'all charges but Tatum does a really good job at avoiding contact once he gets in the paint, which makes him hard to guard once he starts driving to the basket and gets in the paint. In this clip, Tatum does a really good job at attacking and opening after he comes off the ball screen. He actually could have shot the three ball because the screener's defender played back on him but instead of settling, he saw an opening and got right to the basket for an easy dunk. In 
this clip, Tatum could have come off a little bit tighter off the screen so that there's no gap between him and the screener. But nonetheless, he cuts off his defender. And once he gets past the screener, he attacks the basket hard so that the rim protector doesn't have time to jump with him by the time he gets inside the paint. Notice how simple a lot of Tatum's moves are. Also notice how he fully extends his arms using his long wingspan, which really helps him finish effectively over bigs. Nothing crazy at all, just simple basketball. It just shows you that you don't need a bunch of dribble moves to get what you want. Because Tatum is such a threat from three, it gives him opportunities like this, and this is why it's so important to have a three-point shot as a player. In this clip, he pump fakes, then he jabs, which gets his defender leaning off balance, which also helps him get an open lane to the basket. Like I mentioned before, Tatum is really good at maneuvering around defenders for his size. And Tatum really has the full package. It's not hard to see why he scores the way he does. No matter if he's going against a big or a guard, he knows how to take advantage of his opportunities. And notice how every clip was a natural read offensively. He always takes what the defense gives him. Again, Tatum is great at maneuvering around defenders. One thing I love about this clip is that he attacks the big in a straight line after his short jab. And when he sees that help side defender step up, he then takes a short little Euro step around him for a layup. If you guys should take away anything from Tatum's game, it should definitely be his fundamentals and his footwork. Practicing these types of moves constantly will show in games and really help you as a player become a much more fundamental player as well. I love this last clip right here. I call this not playing the drill. So notice after Tatum throws the ball in bounds, that he was probably supposed to come off a dribble handoff or some type of handoff with his big. He sees his defender gets too aggressive, so he puts on the brakes, changes his direction, which leaves his defender out of position to get back in front. He then sees the next defender step up aggressive as well, so that he can't shoot the three ball so then he just drives to the basket for an easy layup. The reason I call this not playing the drill is because Tatum could have just went for the handoff, but instead he read what the defense gave him. And that's one thing you always want to keep in mind as you're playing basketball. Read what the defense is giving you. Don't try to force anything. Always read it. But hopefully you guys learned something today in this breakdown to really see why Tatum is one of the toughest covers in the league. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe also turn your notifications on we're going to be having a lot more videos like this every week i really appreciate you guys tuning in it's all love until next time